Hello. In this video, I'll be demonstrating Kazin as a voice comp feature for Google Docs. Meaningful reflective voice feedback and suggestions for improvement can be added to students' work quickly using this tool. This is only one example, of course, of the many tools that are available to give voice feedback on Google Docs. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will examine a sample English writing lesson entitled Music is an Art Form. As you can see, students have been assigned this task through Google Classroom. This sample submission from a fourth class student on Google Docs has some grammatical errors, mainly in the last line sentence. The class has been using the editing checklist COPS, which is an acronym for Capitals, Organization, Punctuation and Spelling. When using Kazena add-on for the first time, both teachers and students will need to install it. To do so, first visit the add-on store, then click the blue free button, which is to the right of the Kazena icon. In my own instance, I've previously installed it. Returning to the sample document, to open Kazena, click add-ons, click Kazena, and click open Kazena. When signing on for the first time, there is a simple registration process for teachers, which you can fill out within the Google document and which will appear on the right hand side. I will now add a voice comment to the piece to remind the student to refer back to our editing checklist. To add a voice comment using Kazena, highlight the sentence. As you can see, when the sentence is highlighted, it will appear in the green box to the right of the screen. Teachers then have the opportunity to change this feedback color to blue, yellow, or red. In this instance, I'm going to stick with green. If this is your first voice recording or comment, click allow in the box that pops up to give Kazena access to your microphone. To begin giving audio feedback, click the microphone button. You have 30 seconds of speaking time. Record your voice comment and then click on stop and post to upload it. From a student's perspective, once they open their Google Docs, they will be able to play back the teacher's feedback Along with that, they have the opportunity then as well to respond to the teacher's comment through clicking the three dots on the top right hand corner of the comment, where they can click on reply. If they have corrected the piece that the teacher has recommended, they can also click on resolve and the teacher will be notice, notified that their comment has been seen, heard and acted upon. In regards to providing digital feedback to students, adapting a welcoming, supportive tone is key to engaging students. Feedback needs to be simple and have a smart approach, being specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. Being positive and constructive is important also to maintain flow and increase student motivation.